After celebrating 100 years of service and existence in Uganda last year, the 3rd of October each year has now been set aside as the police day to celebrate their achievements. <laughs> President Chair Museven was the chief guest at this year's celebrations held at Kololo Independence Grounds. There were mock exercises by interns demonstrating the ability of several units of the police. <laughs> Also on display were skills of the counter-terrorism unit on the land and in air. The public that don't try this if you are not going to do so. We have got the capability of the to make sure that if something happens, we can look from the air. Now, the terrorists have been arrested. The Inspector General of Police, General Kari Kaihura, outlined achievements of the force, but was quick to note that there are still challenges that lie ahead of them. There is a crisis in the family. You go all over the country, domestic violence is a big problem. And domestic violence uh, is, is a at the root of a lot of crimes like murders in the countryside, most murders are within the family domain. Defense and Internal Affairs Minister Jojo Dong noted the need for police to involve the community in fighting crime in the country. And to almost 900 citizens as opposed to the international standard of one policeman to about 500. To bridge that gap, the community must be involved in assisting in managing policing work. President Chair Seven applauded the work of the crime preventers and stressed that there is need to consider incorporating them into the police force. When we are recruiting into the police, the crime preventers should always have a share which is for them. It would be good to say, okay, 10% More researcher in TV.